Hi everyone, welcome back to Inglorious Fishing. Tonight we're going to be going out and doing a little bit of night fishing for lobsters and crabs. So we're going to be pulling the crab pots in the dark. Uh, I don't advise it, but it's the only time that I can get onto them, guys. So that is what we're going to do. It's a calm night. We've got the life jacket on, so hopefully all is well. We'll have our wits about us and stuff like that. But yeah, we're going to go out there and see if we can get any more of those giant crabs and those giant lobsters like you've seen on the last lobster fishing video. They were immense, guys. They were absolute giants, those shankers. So, uh, or brown edible crabs in the UK. We call them shankers here in Guernsey. Uh, absolutely fantastic. I want to go out there. I've seen that two of my pots have actually moved, so... Uh, I want to try and get onto them. We'll have to locate those, get those in. We'll do the four which are closest to us first, and then we'll start making our way out to the other five. But it's going to be interesting tonight because we've got those um, inkwell traps that we've put in the necks. So hopefully we might even get a few lobsters in the inkwells tonight, guys. You never know. But I ain't going to waste no time. We're going to start getting our way out there. Hopefully we get a few crabs and lobsters. Let's get them. So guys, bit of a struggle finding the pots, but I've managed to find the first string. So let's get straight onto them, and hopefully we get a few crabs and lobsters. So first string, I don't know what it is, whether it's the inkwells or parlors. There's still quite a bit of tide though. Hopefully we get a few lobsters and a few brown crabs like last time, because we had some stonking brown crab. Hopefully we get a few more like that. Oh, I'm excited. I absolutely love lobster and crab fishing. First pot, not a lot. Small lobster. But I don't think he's going to be big enough. Finding a bit of difficulty finding the pot, so we might not be able to get them all done tonight, but as long as we're safe, that's all what matters. I don't think there's anything in that. Just a small spider crab. Right, I'll give you a show of what's in that green pot, guys. So, as you can see, a few small brown crabs there. We've got a little lobster. He's going to be too small. We're going to get him back, guys, straight back into the drink. And just four small brown edible crabs. So I'm going to get those out. We'll get on to the next set if we can find it. Okay, I've also managed to locate the next pot. Let's get straight onto it. Second pot acquired. There's a lot of tide on this. Just need to find the other two round here now. The other five are pretty much next to each other. Just these seem to have moved. So we get them all lined up and hopefully we get them all done tonight. We've got uh, an hour and 10 minutes to the gate shot. So. Nothing. Absolutely zilch. Not even one crab. Very strange. What a small lobster I can see. Right. That's all I can see at the moment. Let's give you a show what's in this pot. So guys, in this pot, not a lot. We've got a small brown edible crab. It's a little male, not very good. Small lobster there that's just dropped out. Another little prawn, no good to us whatsoever. Fantastic to see though, absolutely beautiful. And there's a free bearded ruckling there. I would normally keep that for pot bait, but I'm going to chop him back. They're, they're beautiful fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Part of the eel family, I think. Beautiful, free bearded ruckling. You can tell by the free beards on the nose there. Made me jump then. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Oh, couldn't get him out. Oh, let's see if we can get him out too slimy. There he goes. Straight back down. Right, let's get these pots out and get onto the others. Let's get onto the next one. She was hooked down the third, but she still is. Well, she might have come out again. I don't know what she's hooked on. Then all we got to do is find the fourth round here. This was under the water, so we we'll have to get the searchlight out and find it. It's half past, so we've got an hour left. Full of small brown edible crabs. Might be one keeper in there, I'm not sure. 
it's very hard to tell when the uh, when it's dark like this. I don't know where that fourth one is. There's a small lobster. Right. I can see a small lobster. Let's give you a show of what's in there. So first pot here, guys. We got one small male brown edible crab there. That's a small female. And then that's a small lobster. No good to us that, he's far too small. So we're gonna get rid of him. Flapping away there, beautiful little lobster. That's the future right there. Here we go, just get rid of that. Shut that door back up. And then the second pot, it's just brown edible crabs. Look at that, just loads and loads of them. We've probably got one keeper there, which is that one just down there in the corner. But the rest of them are far too small. We've got a velvet swimming crab there as well. So I'm gonna empty these and we'll get onto that next set, guys. Let's find that fourth one. Okay, let's find that fourth string. So guys, I've found it, you beauty. Oh, you beauty, at least we found it. I was getting a bit worried. So this should be the inkwell. And they haven't fished very well. And that may be due to those flaps. They're not very good in there at all. Just two brown edible crabs. And they're not in size, that's for sure. Nothing. All right, so we got nothing in that first pot. And in the second pot, one small brown edible crab, not big enough, and it's soft. And another small brown edible crab. That's it. Right, bake these up and get over to the other side. Beautiful, let's get onto those other five. So we're on to the fifth set. I've managed to locate them. I've managed to see three or four of them uh, with my searchlight. Hopefully we'd be able to find all five and hopefully we get something over here because over there was absolutely useless. So I've chopped them into the bit of the deep, see if we can get some brown crabs for next time. Until then, hopefully we get some lobsters and brown crabs in this one. A nice female in there. It amazes me how some pots get nothing. That's got nothing. All the bait's gone and it's... Oh, that's too tight, that's why. Nothing can get through that. I need to sort that pot out. Right, okay. Well, I'll give you a show of what we got, guys. So, first pot, guys, all we got is one small brown edible crab crawling there. So, not very much to show you. In the second pot, we've got a brown edible crab there escaping. Too small. That's not a bad brown edible crab, that female. That's a nice one. We'll keep her. That's a keeper all day long, that one. So we'll keep that. Nice brown edible crab. And, oh, there's an even bigger one in there. Another brown edible crab. Small spider crab, little female. You can tell by the pouch there. That's where she carries her eggs, right there on the underside of her. And then in the back here, that's the better female. That's a nice female. Nice and solid as well. Lovely, lovely female brown crab. There we go. Right, we're going to bait these up and get back out. Let's get on to that next set. Oh, she's hitched. Oh, she's come out. Definitely some rocks down there. Very, very poor. Not very good at all. Just small brown edible crabs. We ain't done very well at all. 
At least we've managed to come out and bait them off again. Just another mess of brown edible crab. Oh. Right, I don't know if there's any big... Oh, there might be a keeper in there, guys. Let's give you a show of what's in there. So, the first pot there. Just a small brown edible. Another small brown edible. He's peeling that one. Another three, four, five brown edible crabs. And they're all too small. He's holding on for dear life. Let go, mate. There you are. Five brown edible crabs. Not very good. In the second pot, I think we've done a bit better on the brown crab front. There we are, look, there's a nice one there. There's a couple of nice ones in there. That's a keeper, if that's not soft. Yes, lovely female, that one. That'll be getting kept. We've got a nice male in the back there as well. Hopefully he's not soft. Nah, he's not soft. Nice male brown crab there. Not a giant, but still a nice crab, so we're going to get him in there. He's a nice crab. And the rest are all too small. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven brown crabs. Yeah, they're all too small. They're all just under. So, not what we want. I'm going to empty them and get onto that next set. Okay, let's get on the next one. Right, third string. Hopefully our lock's a little bit better than what it has been. We've had four brown crabs, that's it. We've got 25 minutes, so hopefully we'll get them done. Uh, nice brown crab in there, maybe two brown crabs in that. Not the best, but it's not the worst. Definitely got two keepers, I think. Well, one for sure. Maybe two. Not even have three, you don't know. Don't know till I get into them. Brown crab again. Right. Let's give you a show of in them. So guys, as you can see there, brown edible crabs. Probably got one keeper in that one, not very good. In the second pot though, if I can get them out, that's a nice crab. That's a nice brown crab. That's a beautiful brown crab that, in fact, so he's gonna be a keeper. Chop him in the pocket, there he goes. Another brown crab there. Nice, solid female that. So that's going to go in as well. And um, just a couple of smaller brown crabs. So I'm going to empty those out, guys. I'm sorry about the view. My GoPro light ain't working. I have actually got a GoPro light, but it's not working. So get you back in the mount and wind on those two other sets. Okay, let's find those two other strings. So I think I've figured out where my other pot is as well. So the quicker we can get this up, the quicker we can get onto that last pot as well. So two more strings, guys. Hopefully you get some lobsters and some brown crabs. I'm not hopeful, but you never know. You never know. That's what I love about the lobster fishing. No lobsters whatsoever, they're so scarce. Unbelievable. Not one lobster yet today. One small brown crab in that. Right, let's give you a show what's in them. So, let's try and get you a better view of that. Brown crabs in there. He might be in, I'll keep him till we're inside, guys. That might be in. I'll keep it till we're inside. That's not, that's not, and that's not. All too small. I've got one small brown edible crab in there. There's no point showing you that. It's just too small, guys. So I'm going to bake these up and get onto that last set. Right, let's get onto that last set.
So it's 17 minutes past. We've got 13 minutes to get these off, baited, on bait, unloaded, and get back in. We should just be able to do it. Last set, hopefully, the lobster gods give us one because we haven't had none yet. Oh, I hear a lobster. I don't know if it's big enough. There's a lobster and a big brown crab in there. And that's a big brown crab, guys. That's a beauty brown crab. That's the biggest one of the night. You always have your wits about you whenever you're doing lobster pots in the night, guys. Always keep an eye on the rope and always have your routine because if you get caught in that, that's it, you're a goner. And we don't want no goners. You won't be coming back, that's for sure. Just a brown crab in there, right. Give me a show what's in here, guys. At least I think we got a lobster and a brown crab. You beauty, let's show you what's in it. So guys, last set. Brown edible crab, brown edible crab, and a velvet swimming crab. We'll get rid of them quick. One, there's the velvet. Not very good. And another small brown edible crab. But check this out. That pot there. Oh, that lobster's got berries, guys. Check that out. She's full of berries underneath. So, uh, inglorious fishing don't keep buried lobsters. They're not even nearly done. They're all black like caviar. So, she's going to go back. Nice buried female lobster. That's the future generation right there. Back you go, love. Over the side she goes. But check that out for a brown crab. These are the ones I wanted. Look at the size of that thing. He's not as big as the ones I had last trip. But he is a big crab. Oh, he nearly got my uh, fingers then. That's a big crab, guys. That's a beauty crab. Right. I can't talk too much. We'll give you a better show of them once we're in. I'll give you a show of all the catch, but for now, I need to bake these up and get them back out and start making my way in before I miss that gate. What a beauty of a crab that is. Okay, let's start making our way in before we miss this gate. Well, everyone, we're back into port now. We're on our mooring. Um, we had nine brown crab in the end. Uh, no lobsters, but those were the two biggest brown crabs. Not a bad size at all, but I've just checked my store pot and one of my big crabs from last time, he's died. So I'll have to chuck it in there. I don't know how long it's been dead, so I can't cook it. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, that's what happens sometimes. They do die in the store pots, but uh, there's a few people that want some tomorrow, so I'm going to be delivering them to people. But I'm happy with that, guys. Nine brown crabs and we managed to bait up the lobster pots for next time and we baited them heavy as well. So hopefully... We'll have loads of lobsters and loads of crabs next time. But they give a lot of bad weather now. I don't think I can get out till Boxing Day. So I'm going to have to put the cover on and get these crabs by. But if you're new to the channel, guys, or you you like this channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button and share it on all your social media. Make sure you hit that bell as well. And that way you'll get all my lives and stuff like that and posts and things like that. But yeah, really hope you enjoyed it, guys. Nine brown crab. Ain't the worst day in the world, so yeah, fantastic. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. See ya.